This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, this is a rant that, uh, basically, this is a conversation. This is a rant that I've had so many times uh, over the, the last coming years. And in one, uh, in, in a way, I'm excited to share it with you. In another way, uh, I will, I know that I'm going to get a lot of flack for this one. But I think it's really important to share. And so I'm sharing it. And the idea behind this is vilifying exchanges. In EOS, we have this thing that we vilify exchanges. We've done so from the get-go. It's been from the onset. I think it comes from this idea that we are in DPoS. And it really stems from the fact, uh, well, I think there's a couple of things there. Well, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. One is we vilify exchanges because they're large corporations. I think that's part of it. And they're centralized entities. And in the blockchain space, a big part of the underlying value that we are attempting to uh, move towards is decentralization. And so by default, the exchanges are centralized entities. They're large entities. Uh, they're profit-making machines. And so it's very easy to vilify them. So I'm not the, the idea behind this is not to say that exchanges are good uh, or, or that they, everything that they do is good. But it's this idea that in EOS, we vilify them no matter what. And how that has a cost and how that is a terrible, terrible business decision or terrible business move to do to automatically vilify them to, from the get-go, be at war with exchanges. We need the exchanges. They are useful in the ecosystem. Whenever regulators do back and forth they do it with exchanges typically. In your local jurisdiction, in mine right now, for example, uh, I have had to uh, you know, remove uh, tokens from Binance because Binance no longer functions in Ontario since December 31st. Uh, I've had to, I think we, we just got a message that Bitfinex is going through the same thing because the regulators are working with the exchanges in order to come to you know, an agreement essentially where the exchanges will be able to operate. That happens at the exchange level. The exchanges are the ones leading that battle on our behalf. That is not something that you and I, as small token holders or as part of the community, that is something that typically is outside of our sphere of control. That is something that very much is in their sphere of control. And that's something that is extremely useful for the whole ecosystem to have somebody at that level that's capable of doing that back and forth, and that's got the capital that got the capital to be able to do so. The reason behind it, so they've got the business case to be able to do so as well. Um, and so inherently vilifying the exchanges, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. We're making it harder for them. And yes, they're profit-making machines. So I'm not. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but we're making it harder for them to come and support us. And so in EOS from the get-go, and I think this stems also from. The idea that because we're in DPoS uh, and it's it's stake weight uh, voting, and I and I hate that term voting, and that's uh, that's another rant I'm gonna do, so I'll, I'll leave it for that. But it, it was part of the idea that because we're we're staking to exchanges, we're sending our tokens to the exchanges, that automatically they're bad and they're voting, you know, uh, they're they're voting themselves in with our tokens, you know, or or whatever term they use, and the exchanges are part of that, and very few people care about that. It's because they're seen as valuable members of the community. They fill a particular role that other, for example, indie block producers cannot do. And so again, we automatically vilify the exchanges. And I'm not saying the exchanges are good, but this concept of starting, the starting premise is always that they're evil. That is something that I don't agree with. And I think that, that we've been shooting ourselves in the foot. The other part of this is also, if you think about it, the exchanges really are the IBC. They're a primitive form of IBC. They're a centralized form of IBC, but they are our, our IBC gateway to other ecosystems. So if you don't have a direct relationship, a direct bridge between two different projects, uh, you go through an exchange in order to do the swap, in order to go through the other project, right? It's a, it's a very primitive way of doing things, but essentially they are a primitive, primitive form of, of IBC. And we should be enabling that. We should be making it easier for them to want to onboard our particular blockchain. So we should be creating more SDK so that it's much easier for them. 
uh, going back to another rant that I did, which is token listings, the easier it is for them to onboard or tokens, the better it is. And so creating tools for the exchanges is actually something that we should be focusing on. And that's something that our competitors are doing very, very well. But in EOS, we have this idea that the exchanges are inherently evil. We vilify them from the get-go. And so let's do everything we can to cut their legs off. And I don't know if you realize how terrible of a business move that is, how terrible of a business decision that is. That's the rant. Stop vilifying the exchanges. I'm not saying the exchanges are good, but it is not a good business decision to automatically vilify them. We need the exchanges. They play a crucial role in this ecosystem, in our ecosystem. We need them as allies, just like they need us. I'm not saying it's a one-sided relationship, but it is important to recognize that they play a crucial role and we should help them play that role. We should elevate so that it's easier for them to play that role. And the better it is for them to play their role, the easier it will be for us to play all our role. Stop vilifying the exchanges inherently. They're not inherently evil. They are useful as a business. If we're going to be treating this as a business, we need to make business relationships. We need to be better at making business relationships. One of the relationships that we need to improve in this ecosystem is the relationships with the exchanges. What do you think? I know this one's going to be a hot one.